Hi, my name's James, and today on Spooks Tools Restoration, I should be looking at a load of old rusty tools my father has given me and seeing whether I can restore them or not. Okay, here's the pile of rusty tools. Uh, first of interest uh, is this Victorian pruning saw. It's got some copper bolts here, and I think that might come up a treat. Also, this Victorian mechanised screwdriver. It's got a nice little engineered action there. A small mining pick. Another engineered screwdriver um, for assisting in screwing in nuts. Uh, this looks like a challenge. A wrench that's all jammed and rusted. Yeah, that's jammed and rusted too. A wrench. A huge carpenter's plane. That doesn't look too bad, but it still needs anti-rusting. Most amount of work is this tree pruning cutter. It needs a new pole at the bottom and a draw string that uh, pulls the blade forward. Out of these, uh, I'm not going to use that huge plane. That I can go to another home. Uh, I don't think I'm going to use the pick. But I'll definitely restore them all. Starting with the most interesting and likeable object, this Victorian saw, because of its unusual shape. First kit of wire wool, I think is this grade one. If this is grade zero, the finest, this must be the next one up. We're going to brush off all the excess rust on the blade and also the handle. I'm using a respirator because of the microfibers released by the wire wool. Right, we've completed the sanding down. The brass has come up really nice. The handle, the hardwood handle has got a nice grain. There's not much rust on the blade. But I'm going to coat it in a mixture of vinegar and baking soda and leave it overnight and then scrape it off, which should draw out the rust from the, some of the pitting. I have a tablespoon of baking soda. I don't have any vinegar, but I'm going to use some concentrated lemon juice. So a squirt of that in there. Mix it all about and then apply it to the blade with a very clean cloth. It's 24 hours later, we're just going to get some water dumped on a cloth and wipe off the dried up baking soda. And then scrape it off with, well I'm using a chisel, something sharp. We're going to rub it down again with wire wool. That blade is now certainly rust free and as good as I can get it. Now we're going to coat it with some linseed oil. So I'm using ready boiled linseed so I tend to have to cook it up. I'm going to use a light coating. You could use olive oil but you know you cook with that don't you? complete. I think it looks very pretty compared with how it started out. I will leave it dry for 24 hours before we do anything with it. 